Hi, Leo. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your love monthly. It is going to run from October 20th through November 20th, 2016. Now, I know I had said that um, I was going to have them up by the 15th. With the private readings, it was impossible. Those of you that have been following me since the beginning, you know, I say, I've said it before, the private readings have got to come first. And it's just, it's fair. Um, my new subscribers. But, you know, the more I thought about that, you know, I like the idea that it's going to bring us closer to Christmas. So I definitely, definitely will have them up by the 18th. So it kind of works out because I do like that idea a lot. Um, my new subscribers, I'm so sorry I cut you off there, but I didn't say it then. I just would have, it would have went right out of my mind probably. But um, welcome. Thank you really from the bottom of my heart for taking the time to subscribe to the channel. I say it all the time. I absolutely love doing this for you guys. It is my passion. It works. It resonates, the private readings are accurate, and I just feel really blessed. So truly, truly, I thank you guys so much. Those of you that have allowed me to do private readings for you, thank you so much for trusting me to do that. Um, those of you that would like a private reading with me, my contact info will be in the description box below. And if this reading does not resonate with you at all, please just look at your moon and your rising sign. I usually I suggest, you know, watch all three, take what resonates with you, and leave the rest. Beautiful cut, Leo. Love it. Beautiful. Okay. Nice. Nice way to start out a love reading. What a love proposal. Oh my goodness. Ace of Cups. Leo, you guys are on fire, fire sign. Ace of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So. Definitely a love offering coming coming in. Wow, oh, this reading really is beautiful. Okay, Knight of Cups. Um, water element, but also could be Aquarius too. Gender does not matter. It is whoever it is for you, man, man, woman, woman. It doesn't matter. I don't care. Pri private readings, it absolutely matters. General, it does not. So this Knight of Cups, it's a proposal. You know, it's emotional. It's time for a new love, new love interest. He's a true romantic. Could be a big flirt, but it's some kind of love offering, love proposal. Um, you know, with the Ace of Cups, I mean... You know, it's, you know, emotional, it's intimacy, it's love. This is, this is a beautiful card in this deck. You know, it's loving energy. You know, the card means that love is definitely, you know, in the air for you. You know, impaired with the Ace of Swords, okay? It's not just the deep feelings, the intimacy, the compassion, the love. It's also with the Ace of Swords. It's it's also, you know, the intelligence. You know, the reason, the you know, the truth, the clarity, the perseverance. It's, I feel like, you know, this night has done all of this thinking, you know, and now he is just ready 
to come in, make that offering. And it could possibly be with an earth sign. I mean, the Ten of Pentacles is, for me right now, it is, you know, completion, end of a cycle, everything coming full circle. Like, it's so beautiful, I don't even want to clarify anything. And I forgot to mention that I am using the Witches Tarot by Ellen Dugan and any questionable cards. The Steampunk Tarot by Barbara Moore. Three Romance Angels cards by Doreen Virtue and one... Psychic Tarot card by John Holland. Um, you know, I just feel like this knight is ready to take action. You know, he analyzed the situation. He applied, you know, his logic and his reason. You know, he's ready to take action, make that love offering. You know, and it's where it's completion, it's happiness, it's contentment. All right, those are for you, those of you that are single. I would definitely say, you know, even if you're married, you know, in a in a relationship. I mean, I still feel the same way that you know, within the family, you know, this could be, you know, an inheritance. I just it, it, I just feel like they're celebrating. Okay, well, we'll we'll clarify the Ace of Swords. Just because we will. That's the only card I'm going to clarify, though. Spirit. Ace of Swords for the go. And they're love monthly. Ace of Swords for the go. Ace of Swords for the go. Okay, King of Wands, I think you've got more excitement in, in, in your lives, temperance, it's balanced, it's, it's angelic guidance, it's, and then others of you are going to start a new beginning. Have a baby. Have a baby. Congratulations. Some of you are going to find out you're pregnant this month. Others of you are going to start over in a new relationship with this Knight of Cups, this love offering. It's exciting. It's passionate. Let's see what your Oracle card says. Share the love. That's the Three of Cups. There's definitely enough love for you guys to go around. That's celebrations, parties, engagements. Leo, you guys are on fire this month. Seriously. True to your sign this month. Wow. This is the most beautiful reading yet. And I have one more to do. My own sign. Virgo. Okay, let's see what your romance cards say. Leo, what are the messages for Leo? 
definitely want it sticking out. And you know, that depth card has come out in so many readings. So there's so many of you that, <clears throat> thank goodness, excuse me. I never knew how, when you do so many readings, how your, your throat could get so dry and just so, Okay, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Singles, especially, I feel like that's for you. Make the effort. Make that proposal. Really, it's worth it. it it's nothing but celebration. And trust the situation is calling for you to have faith. Trust, believe. You know, don't overthink it. I mean, it's... This is so much love. It's emotional love. It's fulfillment, abundance. I'm, so, I'm really surprised the Two of Cups isn't here, honestly. I, I mean, or this card better say the Soulmate card. You deserve love. You are lovable. There's no need to worry. And it just pulled the top card just for the heck of it. Okay, some of you could also be reconciling with someone from the past. It doesn't necessarily have to be someone that you had a romantic relationship with. It is someone that you know that could possibly be returning. And as long as, you know, everything I say could also go the other way. You know, you could be making the offer and this whole thing could be the other way. But as long as the effort is made, it, it really, it ends beautifully. It really does. Those of you that are coupled, married, in a solid relationship... I just don't feel like there's anything negative. You know, maybe just some big changes going on. I do feel like with the with some of you married couples, you know, you're going to find out you're pregnant. You're already pregnant. And especially in this deck, you know, the death card, the ace of cups, that, that, that is a clear indication of a birth. A baby. And really for the rest of you, the energy is just positive. You're financially secure. You know, there's been talking, there's been communication, there's love. You know, maybe your husband, you know, maybe he was just, your husband just... Whatever. Realized he was wrong. Did some clear thinking. Now he's coming back. He was just a jackass, maybe. It was, you know, now he's coming back with this, you know, beautiful love offering. You guys are going to celebrate. It's beautiful, Leo. Every card on the table is beautiful. It's amazing. You guys really should have a fantastic month. I hope this reading helped you guys out for the month. I want to thank you guys for taking the time to view the video. Um, and um, really, leave your comments. I definitely want to hear your comments on the rating. And I will see you guys back here with the Morning Oracle Card messages. Bye-bye.